Oh. Well, hello there, guys. Today, I got something cool in the mail. <laughs> So today, we are going to be reviewing this awesome Omnigo antenna from King, which is an omnidirectional antenna. King was kind enough to send this out to me for me to review it. This is not a paid review, they wanted my honest opinion, so that is exactly what I'm going to give. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and then take it outside and test it out. All right, so this thing came with two separate little hookups. This is a tripod stand. I don't know if you can see it while it's on the ground. Let's put it back here. There you go, it's a tripod. It stands on three legs, which is wonderful. And then this, this has a magnet in the base, as you saw earlier, and this just goes on top of the truck. I pulled my truck up here just to test this out. I'm gonna put this on top of the truck, test the reception of this multi or omnidirectional antenna up there, see what we get. Uh, try it out on the tripod, pushed a little further away from the RV, and then try out the RV antenna to just, if you can see it up there, right there. Yeah, see how that compares to the omnidirectional king antenna. This is what we're dealing with. This is a giant mountain and trees. Yeah. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is test out the old antenna and then get this new one all hooked up and then we'll go from there. Honestly, I'm not much of a TV watcher in the first place, so I have to connect the antenna that's currently on top of the RV. And voila! Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and do a little channel sweep to see how many channels I'm getting on the original antenna. Hit that auto scan, and... All right, so it looks like it got 12 channels total. This one doesn't look like it's a very good channel though. So we'll go ahead and write down what channels it got and then compare it to the new awesome omnidirectional one. Disconnect the old one. Okay, so this is for the new antenna. See this? It says there's the antenna hookup, and that is the DC 12 volt little plug right there. And then this is the piece that actually goes into the TV or to your coax outside of the TV. Um, I have a couple issues already. First of all, this power portion, if the antenna has to hook up right here, and the power has to hook up here. That means for me personally, I would have to run an extension cord to hook this up to the back of my camper. And that does not make me happy. I don't have an outlet right next to the coax port on the back of my camper. So that means in order to plug this in with this short thing going off the camper, I would have to run an extension cord from the side of my camper into the back which already makes this a little bit more of a headache. For this example, I am not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and simply plug this directly into the TV, plug this in next to the TV, and run the cord out the door. Have I ever told you guys how much I hate coax? All right, that's all hooked up to the TV. The power is plugged in. Now we just have to run this 25 foot coax. We're gonna run this out the door and off to the antenna. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, I'm gonna try to get as much slack as possible. All right, here's the little tripod thingy, and here's the antenna. It's very lightweight. Goes right on, tighten it down. All right, looks like that is secured to the tripod. Put the, 
plug this coax in. The coax seems to weight the antenna down a little bit, but seems straight overall. All right, now that that's all connected, we're gonna go ahead and head back inside. All right, let's go ahead and run that test. Click. So that one only got seven channels. The RV antenna got 12 channels. All right, let's go try the last method. We're gonna put the magnet on top of the truck and see how many channels we get that way. All right, here's the magnetic thingamajigger. It is magnetic, as you can tell. Gonna go ahead and unscrew this really fast. Unscrew it some more, unscrew it some more. There you go, screw that bad boy in. And now we're gonna try something pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this tripod right there, right now. You like that trick? Nice trick, huh? So it's up there, it's mounted on the side of the truck, on the top of the truck. Let's go check it out though. So this is it, this is what it looks like. This is the magnetic base, this is the antenna. It sits up here nice. Like I said, it's very light, so it looks pretty good on the truck. I could see the potential of possibly driving away with this antenna still attached though, which scares me a little bit, especially me, because I could see myself doing that. But let's go ahead and go inside, check it out, see how many channels we get, and see if this antenna is even worth it. All right, so at this point, I'm sure you get the deal. The antenna is now on top of the truck, so we're gonna go ahead and speed this thing up. That's 10 channels. 10, let's compare the three. All right, so the results are in. Gosh, that sun's in my face. One second. All right, that might not have been super clean, but uh, you get the point, I tried. So the King Omnidirectional antenna with on the tripod, which was located right over here, got seven channels. And that is seven solid channels. Every channel was viewable, so that's seven channels for the omnidirectional on a tripod. Now, the King Omnidirectional antenna on the magnetic truck mount thing, when it was on top of the truck, on the highest point on the truck, got 10 channels but after the three channels that weren't viewable are knocked off the list it actually also got seven channels the same seven channels as it did on the tripod so that leaves us with the antenna that came on the rv and you have to keep in mind it is at the highest point of all of these antennas so it had a better chance of possibly clearing this mountain over off to my left and it got 12 channels. Now, out of these 12 channels, one, two, three were bad. So that means it got nine channels total, two more than the King Omnidirectional antenna. That's nine channels for the stock antenna that comes on the RV and seven channels each for the King Omnidirectional antenna that we are looking at today. So, what do I think about the King Omnidirectional antenna? I think that it has its place. First of all, this magnetic mount is awesome. It's portable, it's super lightweight. This whole thing is about 10 inches in diameter. This is the heaviest part of it is this mount. The antenna itself is extremely light. Secondly, this tripod enables you to place the antenna anywhere you want to place it. In my situation, it's not ideal. There's a mountain right there. It needs to be as high up as possible, not 
as far out as possible. However, if I did go ahead and get a 100 or 200 foot coax cable, which you could totally do, I could run it all the way out to the side yard and have the ability to put the antenna as far away from the mountain as possible, thereby increasing the channels. So that is one of the many benefits of having a portable mobile antenna is you're not locked into one place. You're not stuck with the placement of the antenna. Say you park your RV directly next to a hill, mountain, or some sort of structure. You can take this tripod, mount the antenna on top of it, and put it as far away from your rig as possible in order to get the best reception and the most channels as possible. So that is definitely the advantage of the mobile antenna. So now it's time to go ahead and give this a rating. Now. As I said before, I am not much of a TV watcher, but I know many people who RV are, especially if they're full-time RVing. So I'm not going to rate this based on my own opinion of TV. I'm just going to give it a basic rating. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a good antenna that works. I don't see many issues with it. It's lightweight. It seems to have a nice carrying case, two different ways to mount it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 as far as antennas go. And now I will tell you, do I think you need this if you have an RV antenna already on your RV? And the answer to that question is quite frankly, most likely you do not. If you wanna ensure that you have better reception in places that are a little more mountainous, if you want to be able to push your antenna further away from your rig, then by all means, this is a great investment. This is a great purchase. However, the majority of people will be fine with the antenna on their RV and they won't have any issues with it. Now, if you aren't in an RV, if you wanna watch TV and you're in a van or a small camper, small trailer that didn't come with an antenna and you have a TV, or if you're in some sort of bus conversion, I would say go for this. I would say there's no point in getting an antenna on top of your bus and mounting it in one place. I would purchase this over a stationary immobile antenna every single time. I'm a fan of portability, I'm a fan of lightweightness, I'm a fan of things that do not stay in one place and have the ability to move around. And of course, you have to remember that if you get this antenna or any antenna, you are paying one time for free TV forever. You're not gonna get as many channels as a satellite would, but you have to remember it's going to be free. So the one time initial investment may be worth it to you. All right, so that's it. That's the King Omnidirectional antenna. It's really cool, but as I said, I don't really watch TV, so there's a very good chance that I'll be giving this away in the next couple of days. So look forward to that. Keep watching. If you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about the antenna. Let me know what you, your take on TV is or any of these portable devices. And until next time, guys, oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you later.